guys. So it's uh, oh, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, four o'clock. Been uh, playing since I don't know about eight o'clock last night or whatever. So uh, we had a half inch rain about 24 hours ago. Everything dried up to where we could plant, so uh, started planting again. Uh, I called for rain this afternoon or this evening, sometime after 4 o'clock this afternoon, so I'm going to try to get as much done as I can in that time frame, because that's what it's just been getting rain and work for maybe a day or so and get some rain and be out for a couple of so that's kind of what's going on right now. Snow tilling corn. It's a, I don't know the technical name for that weed, but it's a weed. Uh, looks nice. Uh, we call it yellow rocket, so yellow top. So it's kind of what we're just planting through. So it's planting real nice. Uh, down pressure and everything is real good. It's going in the ground covered real nice. So, that's what I'm up to. That's the down pressure ground contact. Top one is the population of autumn singulation. So we've got the auto track down there. Looks like the lights. I just got done uh, putting seed in, so and I got to go back and. Uh, it's semi to put uh, fertilizer on. Semi is just uh, a couple miles down the road where I was this here. Before I got to this field, uh, we moved a pickup truck after I filled up with seed over there. So I had to get a uh, seed tender, two box seed tender to fill the planter. Uh, I was in the emergency room for about five hours there last week with a hernia. So stomach and belly button so uh, I don't need to be lifting 50 and 60 pound bags of corn put them in there so uh, this makes it a lot easier I don't know why I didn't do this sooner but shout to Bex hybrid uh, called them the dealer called and told them what was going on they said yeah we got an extra come get it so really appreciate that oh well, I had a little shower last night uh, just enough there in the afternoon to make it tacky so uh, it was about I don't know 3 30 so that's probably about that time now the next so I'm gonna see if I can get back to uh, planting and try to get some of this done So I'll get everything turned on, let everything warm up and boot up, set up, all the other ups and always, even though I'm running auto steer now, I got that fixed. My last pass, I always run a marker line in the field, whether I quit for the night, I'm not done or any time, because everything shifts. And that way I can just go in and hit my recenter on my auto steer and center up so I don't have any gaps. So that's my weed over there. It looks pretty good for being planted in the rain and the mud. Price of wheat, glad I got it. So we own this field. Other side of that. This was 
actually my great grandfather or great, yeah. I think it's great, maybe great, great, I don't know. Anyway, this farm was bought by our family in 1938, 39. So, it's kind of neat. Okay, fellas, I see somebody that can back. Can somebody can back up and stay with me? The hell with that yield 360 gator bullshit. You just gotta stay with me. Turn on the ends might be a little hard. Backing in the corners might be a little difficult, but by God, I think we can do it. Pick that hose up a little bit so it's not dragging. We'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Fill the fertilizer again, so once I fill up this time, I'll have enough to finish this field. I pulled in with about half both tanks, the uh, planter tank and the tractor tank is about half full, so one more fill up and I'll be able to finish this field, and I'll fill up and move to the next one. I got plenty of seeds that filled up last night before it rained, so we'll uh, try to get this one done too. Now uh, Dad's down there washing, uh, working wash outs. Uh, I mentioned this little ravine with the 4620. See if I can get steady there. So, whoa, that's kind of bouncy. So, she is 4620 John Deere. Well, I'm loading uh, fertilizer in the truck right now for the planter. Uh, I took the seed, the seed tender over earlier. Went back, brought the semi back to load it. So, I got the fertilizer and everything for the day. So, we'll. Uh, after here after a bit. Get some more corn plant. Hopefully I can get all the corn plant here in the next couple days. We'll see what happens. Nothing real exciting going on today. Still going back and forth planting corn. So uh, today is the 23rd. So Monday. So I should. My plan is to finish corn tomorrow. Outside us. Uh, I got about 10 or 12 acres of one farm too wet the first time and we'll go back and try to patch it in but for all practical purposes the corn plant will be done hopefully tomorrow uh, finishing out a it's about 115 acre field now uh, probably got 20 acres left and then uh, we'll move to a 47 try to get that knocked out tonight get the tractor and planter moved home so the field I got left just uh, a couple miles from the farm, so that's kind of the plan right now. Uh, hopefully, everything goes well. Plan will work out. So, uh, like I said, nothing, nothing too exciting going on besides uh, going back and forth. So there's some going back and forth. I've got to there to go, and then. Up on top of that hill, uh, there's some uh, about five acres up on top of that hill. This is about the rolliest farm we've got. Uh, everything else is pretty flat. This isn't. Uh, it's flat up there, and then it drops off this big hillside. So, so everything's flat and good. switch planters. We're uh, pretty much done with corn. I got uh, 10 or 12 acres. It was too wet the first time but then it rained so it's still too wet. So I'm running the bean planter today. Uh, it's uh, 31st of May so it's supposed to rain either tonight or tomorrow so I'm going to run Bean planter until it rains. So, oh my God, it's uh, about 350 left of beans. So I'm hoping to get a big chunk of that done before it rains. Switched around to where I'm going to run big fields. Uh, that'll help 
help me put some acres through. So that's what's going on. thing compared to the corn planter is uh, one screen. The auto steer and the planter monitor is all on the same screen so that's nice. It takes a little bit to get used to going to 30 feet since how the corn planter is 40 feet. But still getting something done running about six and a half mile an hour. Uh, everybody does things different. I uh, I like playing beans at an angle instead of straight with uh, rows. I don't know if that's any better or any worse. It's just what I do. And then I like to come in and combine them at the opposite angle of what I planted them. They seem to feed better that way. So I don't know. Just what I do. Doesn't mean it's right fairly clean for not being sprayed yet it's got a little yellow cast to it but it's not too bad no cover crops in this one there's strictly no tail the uh, 28 applicator out replacing all the knives and colders and we're going to put sealers on it uh, did some reading and some research and even with uh, liquid UAN uh, we're on 28% nitrogen on side dress even uh, even in that uh, sealers show a uh, yield advantage uh, gives the liquid uh, less chance to volatize so uh, we're gonna put them on and get this hooked up and hopefully start uh, start side dressing here I don't know if yet this week uh, today's Thursday uh, rain yesterday it's supposed to rain tomorrow and maybe Sunday so we'll just have to see what kind of rain we get and what happens uh, we pulled it from uh, the east farm uh, 46 was out there so we unhooked the field cultivator and pulled it back home with it uh, we won't pull it with it even though it looks cool uh, it doesn't have enough hydraulic remotes because we have the 
rock shaft up and down, uh, the wing fold and hydraulic pump. Plus I didn't have, uh, I don't think my ag leader is weatherproof. Oh, it would be cool and I'd do it. Corn is done, uh, patched in all the uh, places that were too wet the first time and I've drove around and everything else looks pretty good so got the planter washed yesterday between rain showers and gonna gotta clean the boxes out yet um, it's got a little bit of seed in it not much but we'll dump them out and take the lid off the pro box and put it back in and then uh, put the box up Gets the tractor unhooked, planter put away, so I can put the uh, 84 on the applicator. So I think that's uh, where we'll end this video. There's quite a bit of hodgepodge stuff on here, I think. Corn planting, some bean planting, a little bit of I don't know what, so it's a good place to stop. We'll uh, get going again on some videos when we start uh, side dressing. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, again, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.